Hey, how's it going? So today we're unboxing blue new 20,000 BTU portable infrared heater. Uh, this runs off propane. This is their big brother version. Uh, this dimensions are 18.7 by 12.4, which is the width, and the height is at 19.5. This model is the D11002-B, and again, it runs off propane and weighs about 20, a little over 20 pounds. Uh, their smaller version, the 10,000 BTU, weighs right about 11 pounds. All right, so let's go ahead and get this unboxed. The sticker seems to be peeled before. Actually, it's double peeled, double sealed. Let's see how brand new it is. Uh, well, this looks a little dirty, a little used, but let's go ahead and pull this out. All right, let's do it sideways, pulled in. Almost. It's a pretty tight fit. There we go. Alrighty. Here we go with a quick look. It's really beefy. Huh. This whole top looks kind of broken here. It's, it's a little weird. But okay, let's just keep looking here. Here's the sides. And here's the rear where you put the propane. All right, here we are. Here's the front metal grill. This is all metal. The top and the handle is all plastic. Uh, they say this part is isolated, so the handle will not get uh, hot at all. On top, you'll see, here's the fan button. It runs off battery. In the rear is the door where you put the two propane tanks or you could get a optional hose to hook up a 20 pounder uh, propane tank. Here on the side will be the battery door. Let's go ahead and pop that open here. Oh, looks like I'm missing a rubber feet. Cause there should be four rubber feet but it looks like I'm missing one. But okay, let's go ahead and so you push this lever down and the door should swing wide open and you take that out. Inside you'll see you'll need four D batteries. Luckily I had some, I had to go yank it out of my big old lamp, lamp, my camping lantern, but this will work hopefully. The battery should not be totally dead. Plug that in. There's two. Let's put this last one down here. It's kind of deep in there in the legs. And number four. Okay, so the battery's in there. So let's go ahead and get the door closed. Uh, stick in the top first. And then the bottom should just slide right in. There you go. So let's see, why are we missing a foot? <laughs> see, there's one, two, three, and then we're missing the fourth rubber pad. You can just double check, make sure it's not inside the box. Yeah, definitely not in the box. Oh yeah, it is in the box. Okay, well. Let's go ahead and get this foot on, just in case yours falls off too. Looks like we'll stick it in this way here. And just kind of push it in a little bit so it doesn't fall out again. Okay. Uh, it's not super tight in there, but I think it'll be good enough for now. Alright, so now we have the foot in. So let's go ahead and open the back door here. 
Okay, I'm gonna grab my propane tank. Okay, so this is a new one here. So I have a new propane tank and a half used one. So again, these are just a one pound, 16 ounce propane tank. Uh, I just got it from the nearest big box store. So let's put it on the side a little bit so you can see. Make sure you spin it nice and evenly in so you don't cross any treads. Okay. Just do a nice hand tight, not super duper tight, but hand tight. There's this empty, half empty one here. Make sure I put it straight so you don't cross your tread. And as you can see, here's the, it looks almost like a quick connect uh, for a 20 pounder hose. As you can see, I don't have one, so I'll just be using the two one pounder. So to put the door on, just have to kind of, just two little tabs here. Just be careful so you don't break them. There you go. That's it. So now we should be ready. So let me prep the area here by removing plastic out of the way see if we don't melt it we do have some little dried leaves there but that should be fine um okay so that should be it um here on the side you can see the multiple dots from minimum to maximum we this one does have a pilot so you should be able to use a pilot versus the, the other version where you have to use a lighter, the smaller one. Um, actually here, let me see if I get this into frame here. Okay, so that's, this is the 20,000 model. And this here is their 10,000 BTU model. Just kind of give you a little bit of the above. some stuff out of the way here. Here's their side profile. Okay, so in the front is their 10,000 BTU model and in the rear is the bigger 22, 20,000 BTU. Okay, here's kind of a side profile. The view from above. Just a little quick view from behind here. And here's the other side view. Above view. Okay. So let's go ahead and start this up and see how it is. See if I can get you into the frame here. So I think I'll do a little bit of a sideways view so you could kind of see the front, the heating element, the ceramic disc here, which is three of them, versus their previous one. The smaller one is just one disc. Okay, so again, fully depress and turn the heater control knob. To pilot and I'll go ahead and it will start lighting up the pilot down here you'll see a spark and then from there the propane should start releasing and it should turn on
Hmm. I'm not really smelling the propane here. Ooh. Okay, that knob is not really not in the spot here. Oh, there you go. As you can see, the fire is on. You see it's starting to get red there. Again, I'm doing this during the daytime, so it's going to be a little bit harder to see. So let's go ahead and put this on minimal here. Let's do the one dot. Okay. Let's go ahead and give you more of the front. So what I'm going to do is blast this up to high real quick. Let's see if you see a blue wall. Oh. Looks like it killed it. Okay. So again, I'm not really sure what happens if it only runs on one propane tank versus two because I know one of them is half empty and the other one's brand new. Um, let's see, do I feel heat? <laughs> not so much. So let's go ahead and turn on the fan and see if you hear anything. Again, here's the fan button. The fan button's up here up top. I think I do feel a little wind here. Again, these batteries are not, probably not the best batteries to be using. I probably have to go get some brand new name brand uh, D batteries. I do feel light heat coming out. I do feel some wind coming out here. Feels like the top half. I just want to make sure it's not too hot or anything. Yeah, I do feel a light wind here coming out, very light, but I think that's more because of my batteries are pretty, uh, they're dollar store D batteries, because I got them just for a lamp, a uh, camping lamp, so I wasn't getting like the best quality batteries, so um, I think after this, I will go out and buy some uh, Duracells. I do feel some heat though, I wouldn't say a lot of heat yet, again this is maybe on dot five so these dots aren't the best I think I do hear a fan it's just a very light whine noise so let's go ahead and raise this up a little slowly so hopefully I don't kill it gas there you go Ooh, see that so now it looks like it might be yeah I think I you can hardly see it but I could tell it's lighting up all three of the ceramics. And you definitely do hear it. You hear a little sputtering noise. So I feel heat. I'm not sure it's the heat from the front. Yeah, it feels like it's heat from the front. And not really much of the fan, but I think the fan would just kind of blow it over a, a bigger area here. Okay. So you heard a little whining noise. I'm trying to see where the dot is here. And that seems like it was whining towards uh, the sixth dot. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It was whining around the seventh dot, so I moved it up to the eighth dot. And now that whining noise is actually gone. Ooh, I uh, see the heat. You see the ceramic uh, plates are actually nice and toasty orange now. So I would suggest that you play with these a little bit when you do turn it on. Just kind of, kind of wiggle, wiggle around each of the settings. See, as you can see, the instantly the orange did came off, so that's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is try to turn it down lower again. Because this is temperature controlled, I know someone asked me previously if it'll kind of like turn itself off or somehow reduce the heat coming out of it. Um, I'm going to have to come up with some type of test. I'm thinking if I test this at night, I would be able to kind of see it more. 
maybe I could see if the plates slowly turn off whenever it gets too hot. But I doubt it. I, I'm assuming this is just a constant flow of propane going through these ceramic discs. And this propane uh, right here, down here, keeps it all combusted, right? I'm not sure. So this is just going to be kind of a test trial run, you know, unboxing. Um, I will just kind of play with it for the next couple days to see how it works. Um, I definitely do feel heat coming out of this. Again, this is only on the third dot, so it's only warm about right here. I can feel heat kind of up here now too. I kind of like that. Maybe it's the fan working. I'm not sure. Yes. As you can hear, the fan's soft. You don't hear that little kind of like a whiny buzz up here. Let's go ahead and turn that off for now. All right. Again, this is blue, 20,000 BTU propane heater. Um, I'm going to just test it for the next couple days, see how it is. And, you know, if you have any more questions, comments, let me know. Um, I don't really have a tent, a small tent to really test this inside the tent to see if it'll heat up the whole tent and just not kind of turn down when it gets too hot. You know, it does say it has a temperature uh, control. So it does says it has a thermostatic system, it has a safety tilt switch, built-in fan, automate automated lighting, which is you know the pilot light, overheating protection guard, easy grip handle, and heavy duty construction. And of course, the most important is the low oxygen safety shutoff system. Here on the side, you do see the instructions, and it does say do not use uh, in complete, completely enclosed area or in a moving car. <laughs> do not use the heater if it's damaged, if it has damaged seal, is leaking or deteriorating. Uh, do not modify this heater. Uh, must be operated away from flammable materials and liquids must be used on a solid stable surface make sure made of non combustible materials uh, inspect the, the, the propane gas hose regularly for any signs of wear and tear which you know of course we don't have the, ex the extra hose um, heater is to be operated uh, no closer than 10 inches from the sides and 10 inches from above and oh sorry I missed the whole sentence here the heater consumes oxygen via combustion process each heater requires a minimum of 20 square inches inches okay um, for safe